Hello, this is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator. So happy to be back here at the HD Base T Alliance booth at ISE 2023. I'm especially happy to be joined by Tom Devine, who is Director of Marketing with AV Pro Edge. Good to see you again, Tom. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. It's uh, great to be here at ISE. Always nice to be sitting down with you, Dan. Um, we got lots of people all around. The HD Base T booth seems to be super busy. Um, if you guys are watching this later, you missed out a good show. I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, it's really nice to be here. And you know, some of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today was USB-C. Do you know anything about USB-C, Dan? I know a little bit about it, but I'd love to hear what you're most excited about and why you think it's the future, why you think our audience should know about it. Sure. So. With USB-C, we're in the Wild West right now. So I have right here with me these three USB cables. They all look alike, but they all work differently. And so that's kind of the situation we are with USB-C, where USB-C is here to answer all our problems. We can do all of our normal USB stuff that sending um, data one way, receiving data the other way. Uh, but with USB-C, we have this new connection type. So it doesn't matter if I connect it this way or I can flip it around, connect it this way. Everything's so nice, isn't it? Well, what happens when we want to start sharing USB-C with audio and video is we have to actually have those devices go into an audio video alt mode. And what happens then is these cables, they have to have all the different channels inside that cable. So if I was going to try to send audio video over this USB-C cable, I couldn't because it was built just for power. And this cable, I could because it was built for data and power. And if I tried to power with this, I couldn't because it was just built for data. So while USB-C is awesome, and I'm excited for where the future is going to go. Um, I love to see different connection types um, for audio video. We know that the USB C is on the bottom of every smartphone. It's uh, becoming even going to, Apple even is going to have to move to USB C by 2025. The bottom of the iPads are USB C. So this whole world is going to be going in this direction, but we all need to remember that not all USB is the equal. And what can happen is that you could find yourself where you have all of the USB-C, the perfect computer to share USB-C, the perfect input point and you know, a distribution box for maybe AV Pro or any of the awesome HD Base T manufacturers. But you, it's gonna come down to that cable. So cable choices are going to be uh, very important um, as the world goes on. And I just wanted to, um, I, I love talking about it. I love seeing that we are in this transitional point right now with this cable and everybody is excited for these different versions of USB. There's been USB one, two, three, they've announced four. All those will be able to work on this same cable, but we have to make sure we have the right cable. Well, I really appreciate that added context and the fact that this is a time of transition, as you say, it's a time where evolution is ongoing. That really presents a major market opportunity, doesn't it? Not only for AV Pro Edge, for integrators, for solutions providers. Times of transition, times of evolution are times when technology partners can really show their worth and prove their worth, isn't it? Exactly. And, the, and really it comes down to the installers as we are all servicing you know, our customers that are putting these installations in live atmospheres and we need to make sure that those installers, they understand the, the USB-C problems that could happen. Um, if you bought a MacBook in 2020, it comes with a USB-C cable just like this. But if I wanted to share audio video with that, I wouldn't be able to. But if I bought one in 2021, they changed it so it can. So just these different variations and these, uh, you know, the different changes as we see the world go on, we see, you know, technology evolve. It's really exciting, but as me as a professional trying to develop products and as you guys trying to install these products, we want to set our customers up for success. And one of the huge breaking points could be a simple, $10 cable that could put down your whole system that you spent six figures on. So it's very important to be knowledgeable, not just of the products that you are installing. Of course, I want everybody to just install AV Pro Edge products, but that's not going to happen. 
I, what I know what is going to happen is the industry is going to move to USB-C, not just AV Pro Edge, but everybody. So us as an industry have to learn these differences between USB-C um, and the different types of cables, the different connection types, and the different signal types that are going through. It is a simple, um, there are simple answers out there, but it's just, um, I like to be an advocate for the future technology, what's coming down the pipe, and I think it's really cool that USB-C is that thing, and I'm excited for everybody to use it, and we just now have to use it smartly, and we have to uh, prepare and plan our customers and to set them up with success. Test those cables before you give it to them. Let them know, educate them on the um, differences in different uh, connection types, and we can all, as an industry, grow even faster. Everybody has a better, uh, um, you know, um, a time at the end of the day, everybody is able to, you know, use the solutions that we're all installing and developing uh, in a simplified, smoother way. If we're all un under the same understanding when it comes to the technology. Well, thank you so much for sharing your thought leadership with us today. I feel like I've learned a lot, and I feel like we are we're at the precipice of something really exciting with USB-C in our industry. Thank you for getting us fully up to speed. Tom Devine, Director of Marketing with AV Pro Edge. My name is Dan Farisi, Editor-in-Chief with Commercial Integrator, coming at you from the HD-Base-T Alliance booth at ISE 2023.